Hey guys, me Danny, and today I'm going to be doing my Euphoria Season 1 review. So, hey guys, this is my new nails I did today, so you can see. Moving on. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen any of the season, please do not watch it, because I'm going to spoil a lot of things, I'm going to explain a lot, but if you have, let's continue watching it. So this is called Euphoria Season 1, sorry, it's Euphoria, it came out 2019, and this is a TV show that came out in 2019, I'll repeat myself again. Anyways, um, I'm going to explain to you each episode on what I do for my review and in the end I'm going to say my full thoughts and which characters I like and what I think is going to come into season 2. So there's two seasons, um, they're doing season 3 and I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're doing one in 2024, 2023 or something like that. I think 2024 they're doing it. So yeah, can't wait for that Can't wait for that one. Anyways, this is a drama. Um, I will say that I'm going to say some things that could be uncomfortable for people to watch. I mean, if you want me to, I will talk through. Like I said, this TV show has a lot of uncomfortable scenes. So when I was watching it, it was uncomfortable for me to watch. But I still enjoyed it. Like, I didn't like the uncomfortable things, but I liked the drama and the characters in it. But there's some uncomfortable scenes. There's drug use. There's talking about... There's a lot of nudity in this. So, like I said, it is 18 we is this we spit. So let's start with episode one. So episode one, we each of them have monologues, so we're gonna start with Rue. Rue Bennett plays Sendaya, Queen. She should win an award for this because I'm telling you in, in the things that I'm gonna say to you about this the season and the episodes, girl, she should win an award because I'm I'm not even joking. So let's go on to Rue. So Rue lied before she became an addict. So now you all know why she is an addict. So this is this will explain her as a baby and explain about how she was always like a very child. That when her dad died, she stopped experimenting pills. That's when she got the drugs. That's they saying that that's how she became into have um a drug addict. So in this scene, it does explain about a dad. Not for your depths, but it will explain a bit more. So in this scene, we see that um real life was very normal. She was a she they would took her to therapy because I think they said that she was bipolar. Or she was she seized off, so the mum was very curious on why she was doing that. Later on, yeah, she started to do drugs. And like I said, she does, she still does drug and she doesn't come clean because she's still doing it. And she does have a friend called Fez. He's a like a drug dealer and he's she goes to him every single time. So she is not clean in this in this in this uh, in this season. I'm gonna be serious, she's not clean. Because she's doing drugs. You know, it changes a lot in the people when you do drugs because you know you change a lot when you do drugs you become a different kind of person so she does become violent angry she she's like you know ends life and stuff like that so she doesn't come clean so this is upsetting for people the sister and the mom don't trust her that well because she knows she would do some stupid things she'll go have drugs they have to like um drug test her at home but she'll be very sneaky and she'll ask people favors to 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 use her piece and then do something so then they won't see that she's drugged. So she's very sneaky and she can do stuff. She's very clever. So she'll know what to do. So like I said, they don't trust her. The sister don't trust her. And the sister's almost 12 years old. So the influence with her is not very good because she's a drug addict. And the sister is like crying because she doesn't know what to do. So they don't trust her in this episode. We move on to a new character called Manny. I don't know her name. Her cast, the actress name. But her name is Manny. So she is... One of the characters you're gonna see about her more later on. So she dates Nate, Nate Jacobs. They break. So in this scenario, they broke up, and she's in a room saying that, and they're saying to her to move on, and she's like, okay. So she wants to move on with other guys, you know, whatever she wants to do. And then we just see that in this episode, we see that oh, Maddie and Nate used to be together, but they're not together anymore. So that kind of got a no-no for them. So now we're going to go on to the scene where Rue is walking down the aisle and she gets picked from Maddie. So Maddie's like, do you want to go to the party? And she said, yeah, let's, I'll go. So they went together and Maddie was there. Cassie was there. Another friend was there and her and Lexi, I think. So before I even say anything, Nate is a dickhead. And the reason why I say this is because he's annoying. He is annoying. So in the scene, um, when they're in the first car, he goes over to um, some girl in the cycle ball. The, the the bicycle we know is Jules, so he's like, oh, he says some things I don't remember. So he's a dickhead because he's kind of like the kind of jock jerk dude guy. Anyways, 
So in the scene in the party, um, the all gang are talking to each other and they talk about Cassie and he said that she's a whore, that she shows pictures, she sees this, just that. And something happened in sex, I don't know what happened, but uh, and they say that she's she that's how she that's what she is, she's like that. Um so McKay, who is his friend, he is dating Cassie. But the thing is, there's a whole twist that he did Nate and Nate is saying things and he's like, I don't believe you, so they all have that argument need to think. Jules come into this play and she is in the character. She she has an account with an older guy. And this guy is named Cal. I think it's Cal, I don't know what his name is, but it's the name of the guy that she's dating. And she dates this guy, she's goes on Tinder basically and gives up this guy. Um she tells Kat that she's not gonna go to the party, she's gonna hang with this guy and that's gonna happen. So she goes to this hotel when he's taking a picture of a champagne. She goes in, he's like, I'll just sit down. And they have sexual intercourse. Um, they have butt sex. You know, well, if you want me to be honest with you, they did with Nate's dad. I don't know for sure if it's butt sex or whatever, but they have some sexual relations with each other. So that happened and she was okay. She finished and then that was it. Um, we, later know, we later know who this person is. In the end, I'm going to tell you in episode one. After that, she goes to the party because she was like, oh, there's nothing else to do. Like, we'll just tell Kat when it comes. So she comes to the party. Um, I mentioned earlier, we do meet Fez. He's a drug dealer. He's also, um, what's the word? He's with, um, sorry, my mind has gone, gone really crazy. Not crazy. I just, I'm thinking what I'm going to say. Sorry. Fez is a drug dealer. So he lives with Ashtray. We later know by him in season two, not this episode. So, like I said, we're just knowing more about this. After that, we have Lexi. So, Lexi was Rue's friend, but not anymore as they're not close and explainable later on. So, the party. The party, we see Kat. She's a virgin. The after the sex saying, oh, have you had sex? Have you touched a guy? I think, oh, those are like those little inappropriate questions for her. So, like, she's like, no. So the guy's high and I think they do have a relation together. I do that. I think they do have sex. So that's going to happen. Manny gets back with Nate to get him jealous. So she tries to make him jealous to say like, oh, let me get this guy called Tyler and get him to get jealous. <laughs> Nate sees this and he's upset and he's like angry. So he gets frustrated at her and he's like, what are you doing? And I think she tells him to go to the pool. They do something together. I don't know if they do any relations together or they do any sexual anything there. I don't remember. But I think they do. He gets angry. So... As Nate as he is, he goes smash the, the glass, of course. Of course. So he smashed the glass and he gets angry when people look at him and then he sees Jules and she's like, I said, who are you, Jules? Who, who, who the hell is Jules? What are you doing here? So he asks a question to her. He gets into her, in her, into her like, very, very uh, face. She goes with a knife and starts saying, oh, was that what you mean? And she, I think she cuts herself. I think she, she does that so he can, like, be afraid of her. And she was like very upset. She was like, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, they don't, they get together and stuff like that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's what happens. They get together and yeah, that's good. Um, so he's angry. He does that. After she does that, she runs away. And that's when Rue said, we can help you. And she helps her. And then she has to go home together and put it by Nate. So that's going to happen. Um, Kat loses her virginity, virginity so she tells Maddie, or she tells one of the friends, I don't remember. And she had told, I'm in this time, I didn't know she was about to have be a virgin because when they said that she, she lost her virginity, I was like, this girl says when, when. So yeah, and then Nate goes home angry, and then in the end of episode one, we see Cal, and guess who it is? His dad. So his dad has been having a sexual relation with a 17 year old Jules. Da, da, da. Okay, so that's episode one. Episode two is talking about Nate's life. So Nate's life is kind of interesting to see. And we see why he is how he is and how his dad is how he is. So in this scene, we see that when he was 12 years old, he saw, I think he saw porn or he saw something. So he did see porn and stuff like that. And the dad kept CDs of things that he didn't show. So he kept in the safe so he can open and he choose anything. So I think he did, well, the guy chose and he saw the dad doing whatever he wants to do. So after that, he sees that, he's traumatised by that. So kind of is the kind of the dad's fault because you're kind of putting, that's too late. Too late. You put this thing for the boy and you know why the boy is damaged. Anywho, 
After that, he gets a bit rigid workout and starts doing a diet that's scheduled. So he does that 12 years old. Imagine the 12 years old workout and a rigid, um, rigid diet. That's so weird. What? He's 12 years old. What? He becomes team captain later on and wins every game. And that's when we come to the bathroom scene. So this is the bathroom scene. And this is the when he sees everyone naked with the penis coming out. Penis like out, out there. Um, he feels uncomfortable. I think he's just like, he's weird. And I me personally thinking, I think he might be bi. He might be bi because he was very like, I'm sure about that. So maybe he is. And after that, we know that he has an older brother called... Is it, is it Adrian? Not Adrian. It's something I don't remember the guy's brother's name. But they don't really get along. He's kind of messed up. The mum and dad don't get along with him. He doesn't. They don't get along with each other. And now we go into the interest. The, the girls he likes are someone confidence who don't like body hair. He loves hair, like the hair like that, short skirts, that kind of thing. I don't know fully, but that's what I can remember. So then we go into Miley's life with Nate. So Miley's life with Nate was very perfect because he protected her any other way. Whenever she got um, sexualized and raped, he had she had a very bad life, so he protected her in any evil way. He tried to defend her in any evil way, and that's why he loved her and she loved him. So that's when all the old Maddie came situation came. Moving on, Maddie's like, uh, well, a uh, Rue has a crush on Jules when she first sees her, because when they first in the last episode, I forgot to mention. Um, they were laying down and she's like, let's do jokes, that's fine. So she, Rue started liking her right in that moment and she knew that, oh, she was perfect for her. So that's what happened. Um, Rue? Maddie and Cassie are best friends in this uh, season. Season two, you see why it differs a lot, a lot. You see how it differs a lot in season two. Season one, I think you do. But season two, you see a lot of their differences. They're very friends together, you know, they've been friends since they were like, even like when they came to school. So they've been doing cheerleading together. They went out to the party together and they've been very honest with each other. So this was a good Cassie. Bad Cassie season two, not really good. Moving on, Kat meets Ethan and gets along. So she meets Ethan in, in the science lab and he likes her and they stop talking and they get a bond relationship. Ruth speaks about her rehab in this scenario we've seen. It's like a little past. And the woman asks her, what is the memory you would do? And she struggled. So she was having panic attacks and worried and she didn't know what to say. So she was like, oh, I'm nervous. So she, the only thing she could remember was when they were in a car before the fighting. But she was thinking about the fighting in that moment. And she knew that, oh, I don't want to say it. Because she doesn't want to say it. Because she doesn't want anyone to know that this, this is what she's not working hard. So that was happened. The girls overheard, they're like, oh, why is she weird? And Lexi, Lexi's defending, like, just leave her, like, leave her alone, and she left. So that kind of, like, upset her for a bit. So I'm explaining about Lexi's relationship. Lexi and Rue's relationship are very good. In in this um, season, they don't get along that well. The reason why is because um, when they were younger, they used to be, like, go together to somewhere else and do skating and stuff like that. But after Rue started to take drugs... She tried to help in every way, but it didn't work for her. There was one time when she was like, oh, don't do drugs. She said, do do it. And she just feels like, oh, uh, even when Rue relapsed, she went to see her friend. But then after a few days, she stopped being with her because she knew that she was not having drugs and stuff like that. But she came to her one time just for a favour. And that was weird for her to see that. So, yeah, their relationship are not very good, good. But, you know. Rue goes to re rehab and she starts to experiment in pills. She tells someone to get high. So I don't know if this is in the scene, but this is what I remember. She does experiment in pills and she does do sessions, but she doesn't really does it. I mean, she tried to be clean, but it doesn't work for her. Still doing it. Kat finds out her video and gets upset. So Kat does a sex tape with this guy. Remember that I told you earlier? So she, they have a little confusion there. And she's upset and embarrassed because everyone knows and she just doesn't even want to go to work. So she took, I mean, to school. She talks to McKay brother, I don't know his name, but she told him, oh, if you just do this, I'll do anything. So, of course, she does things we have to do. And he's like, okay, well, I don't know. He's like, you don't know, just expose it. So they do, they do end the rumour very quickly because they said it was not her. And they're like, okay, cool, move on. 
Maddie and Nate get together and that's very good because they go on a good relationship together and that's very good for Maddie because she, now she's protected over Nate. Between that, we have Cassie and McKay do get together. So McKay is McKay's brother. So he's the new one I told you about. They do get together and they do a bond relationship. So that's very good for them. Rue wants... Okay, so she goes to Fez to find some drugs and he's like you can't be here right now i'm in the middle of business so she's there she can't do anything about it and he said just sit there and just shush so he tells the dealer that he's his brother she's her brother and he was just like what he did we manipulated her to do strong drugs but the strong drugs was not very good because it was literally making it very worse for her so she does take the drugs he leaves tells them to give money and stuff like that and yeah um in this episode i do remember that they do take her to hospital because she's like very down and I think they bring jewels and everything because she's an her friend so they do go there. Um, Nate threatens Tyler. Okay, so in this thing we see him beat him up and he threatens him telling him, oh I know you did it but it was Maddie actually fault because I think Maddie, she was telling him from to go to the pool so she, she said it was not me, I'm not doing it, she was the one who made me go to the pool and he's like, you don't believe him, he thinks, he, he thinks he's like, um, he raped her because he's 22 and she's 17 and that's kind of illegal you can't really do that so he's like no i didn't do it so he beats him up and give him a lesson and, he, and when i say beat up beat up this is why this scene was so uncomfortable to watch i was like what's going on what's going on anywho that's the end we do end with cassie has sex with mckay's and that's the end of episode two now we're going into episode three Well then guys, and just Okay, so episode three, Jules is like in this guy and oh sorry sorry, in the end of episode two we find out that what's the name? Jules is talking to this guy. We find that it's Nate. See how messed up that is. Why is he messed up? We are gonna find out very, very soon in season two. Nate why. So Jules talks to this guy, thinking he's great. Oh my god, his name is Tyler. Really? You choose another name, Tyler. Tyler, the guy you beat up, and you choose Tyler. So she meets Tyler, and she gets very happy, and she chats him up a lot, a lot of times. And Ruth sees that, and she does really enjoy that. This is going to be a monologue of Cat's life. So before she was going through this weird stage she was a normal girl who used to date who used, she dated this guy daniel and they used to go together like even like even she was like like a bit curvy he didn't mind because she was nice and beautiful but after they broke up she lost a lot of confidence in herself and she lost to be the way she is she starts to do cams you know if you so she went on she went on the porn hub and she saw the people doing it she was like let me be a can girl and let me just do videos so she does videos and she does it regularly and she she names her thing called kitten or cat and she sees that she get a lot of reviews so she does these little cam girl so when i say she was crazy girl she crazy cassie faced danny k and is happy to see him and he's like let's go well, i want you to see you in college so they go see them in college so that is done rue lies about being clean and is in trouble of course she lied because she wasn't very truthful to her friends or even her family so she is faking it and saying i'm clean and jules like oh my god i'm so happy for you but apparently she wasn't, and she's in a lot of trouble because they're going to find out eventually, soon, soon, soon. Jules takes pictures of, of her naked for the mystery boy. Because he asks her to do, he wants nudes. So she's like, let me take pictures. And I think I know the scene, because there's a scene where she asks, um, what's the name? Yeah, she asks Jules so she can help her take pictures. I remember that scene, that was very weird. I think she liked her and she was like, okay. So they do these kind of things to each other. He sends his dick pictures to her. The whole couple. Ali speaks. Okay, so now we have a new character called Ali. So he's the supporter group for Rue because she's also an addictive drug addict. So he talks about his life and say how he used to have drugs, but now he's a Muslim. He changed his religion to Muslim, so now he doesn't do drugs. He stopped it. And he meets Rue. Rue is kind of like an on middle child. He still likes her. He still wants to support her. So we do meet him, and I really like him. He's a very good person. Cat meets with a guy in this cam girl thing, and he's like, he's like forty, 
and he's like, oh, he wanted to do stuff, I had to do. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So, she does the things with him today, and then after that, Sorry, that guys. And then she does that, and just some weird up thing, like, ill. Cassie goes to college to see McKay at the party, so they go see each other. And they meet up the friends, and she does shots and everything. And then they have a good time. Cat changed her look and is happy, so she liked Daniel. So she did like Daniel, and she did change her look. And now she changed everything. She's a different kind of person. I'm sorry if I didn't mention it to you before. When I said to you about guys about the makeup, and I forgot to mention this. In episode two, she gets she gets clothes and makeup, so that's why she gets a new look. So there you go. And then Jules meets Tyler and is happy. So Jules is happy to meet Tyler. I think it's time to come tomorrow. I think during the carnival season is the carnival one. Yeah, the carnival one. So she's meeting and Wu's like, I'm worried for you. She's trying to be careful. She's like, I don't know what you feel right for this guy. Mm hmm Train to danger. The other guy. Episode four is Jules Live. So this is Jules Live. I will do I would have to expose it and do explicit content because this is it's a very hard episode for me to talk about because I don't like this kind of stuff and I don't like talking about it and I do not like talking about it. So I'm not gonna talk in depth about it, but you guys will recognise why. So Jules Live was a very normal child. She was very her mum will bring her to a road trip to take her therapy an hour because she knew that something wrong with her because she is trans and she thinks that the mum thinks that she needs to go therapy. So she goes to this place and they do sessions and they show that all around. They lock the girl in the door and the mum left her. That's sad. Imagine that. You're, you're about to take your own to hospital. Girl, I can't quite forgive you. And it was very insane and I think she hated her body for all of this. I think when she was younger she said hated her body and stuff like that. So she would hurt herself by accident. So in the scene there's a, there's a, there's a hurt thing, self-harming thing. I do want to talk about talk in event about it because I'm not about to talk about it. But like I said you guys, it's, it's very explicit. So I accept a bit because I couldn't really see this because it kind of made me upset and I don't like things like that. So it is sad because, you know, she does this stuff. After that, she became living with her dad. The mum don't go there. I think the mum used to drink as well. So they don't really get connection that much. So moving on with that. Um, Rule falls in love with Jules. And she actually kisses her. And this shocked her. And she did not expect her to do that. But I think because Rue was like, oh shit. Oh, why did I do it? So she was upset about it. But yeah. Um, they go to the carnival and they meet up. And Jules and Rue are happy with each other. They do kiss. And they get in a relationship. And then they tell they tell Lexi, oh, we're in a relationship now. And you can see Gia. So Gia's in this as well. And they'll have their own time. Uh, oh, no, that's not. Fizz? Yes. Episode 4. Sorry, this is the carousel one. So this is the carnival one. I really like this one. It's funny. And I like it, though. Okay, so she tells Lexi and she's suspicious, suspicious. McKay lies about Cassie's relationship. So basically he lies about it. And I'm like... Okay. All right then. Um. So yeah, she just doesn't like. She see she's upset, and she like, what do you mean we're friends? So and I'm like, why are you doing it in front of me? Like you tell her we're together. He's a confusing guy as well. He's like, oh, I don't want to be with you. I'm like, oh, but what was your problem? Anyways, um. Jules confronts Cal. In the carnival and sees him and she's like, ooh, that's him. And Rue's like, I don't believe it's, yeah, it's him. So she confronts him. He does have an awkward account with two together because they dropped the, the curry. He does know who she is. And Nate sees, knows who she is. I'm telling you. Is there something here on my lips? I think it's dry. Um, but yeah. After that, Rue runs away and they run away together. And then, of course, they just, not really do it, but they, they go to other places. We do see Kat and Ethan in it. They go to the ride together and stuff like that. Maddie confronts Nate. I think no, I think what's the Nate? Yeah, Nate calls her a hooker and says, Why dress is a hooker for? And she's like, What do you mean? And then my parents don't like you already. Why are you dressing up like that? And he's like, Oh god. And she's upset. So she and Matty go take Molly together and they're like, Okay, let's let's get high. I'm I'm tired of this 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 thing. And Cassie was upset, so she saw she was upset, so they went. Um 
Buddy comes first night and shows them at night. I didn't come in and then she called. I think I should call her mama can't and stuff like that. Sorry, ouch. And then of course he grabs her and tells her someone else. That was really funny. We like that one. Cassie gets on the carousel and masturbates in the carousel. It's very weird. I was like, what is this girl doing? But because she's high, she's with Daniel. She's like, oh, oh. She goes to moan, she moans them. I'm like, girl, what's going on? <laughs> Gia gets lost and Rue is really worried because she doesn't want nothing to happen to her. She finds her in the little um area where they're all smoking weed and she's like where is she she's over there and she don't like her because she doesn't want to see her sister having drugs and they're like and they're all making fun of her and saying oh but you oh but you are uh, you're a drug that did so weight and she said no she's my sister so she was very protective over her um she didn't want to go because she was very 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 like no and she didn't want to see that but i do like i do see that she cares about her sister she doesn't want her to go to that extent like she knows that she's with it but she doesn't want her sister to do it but i like that Kat, of course, gets paranoid and says, even one of her girls, so she thinks, that, oh, he's he's cheating on me, so she, oh, he's not with me, so she lets go of the, not cheating on him, but she thinks that he's not going to be with her, but then she lets go of the slushie, she goes to some other guy, does the other guy, who's underrated her. her. Girl crazy, girl is crazy. Okay. All right, so in the end of that, we do see that Nick is violent, and when I say violent, he chokes her from the think and chokes her. And why do you think I say these two are toxic? Toxic, T-O-X-I-C. And when he choked her, I did not really like that because that kind of made me upset. I was like, why are you choking her for? Because she saw his dick pic. And she, oh yeah, I forgot to mention it to you guys. She does say it. And I forgot to say that. Maddie is unsure about Nate. Yeah, in episode three, she does feel unsure and tells her friend. And then he goes to, um, and then that, that's when he get fines on her because he knew about the, the, the dick pics that she has. And he's a bit upset. She's like, ooh. So then after that, he's like, oh, just don't tell anyone about it. And, da, da, da. and he's like, nothing to worry about. So of course of that. Jules meet Nate later on and explains that he is Tyler, of course. And he tells her the truth and complains about the photos. Like, do not tell anyone. Oh, you, oh, I'm going to get in trouble. So he kind of do that little threatening thing that he does. She's shocked, but disgusted about it. And then that's the end of that. We got to episode five, Bonnie and Clyde. So this is Maddie's life. Maddie's life was a very good life. She was a dancer and she participated in pageants and she had a lot of confidence with her dad. She was not able to have a job as she saw that she would do her nails at a mom's salon. She stopped doing pageants because I think not the coach, but the other coach was a pedophile and they stopped doing pageants anymore. So she lost confidence over that. She knows that her dad and her mum was her mum her mum was a nail salon and dad was drunk. She knew that they would fight a lot and she said that was not good things for her. That's when she made it Nate. And he loved her and she loved him and she gave lots of gifts to him. And they would he would give her roses, he would give her like lingerie for her to wear and stuff like that. So yeah. She would watch porn to learn stuff. I think she would learn things so she can do it with Nate. So she would like learn poses and stuff like that. In this we do see that Rue touches herself. Did I say anything about Maddie? Hold on, guys. Let me just see if I'm just. Yes, in this scene, we do see a scene where she does like they're having sex, and he's like, "Oh, if you have, you're a virgin." She she lies because she did she, she did have sex with, the, uh, with some guy. So then we see that she's now normally she's cheating now, and now she's with him now, and yeah. So that's going on. Next, we're gonna go on to Rue. So Rue touches, touches but she touches herself. Because she thinks of Rue, Jules, and she likes her. So that's what she does. Um, so we can see that they're having a bond together. Rue's mom, which is, is it Kelsey? Oh, I don't know what her name is. But she starts to like Lexi. She makes the world together and they get along. Jules and Rose get together, fine, get together. Yay, yay, yay. After that, Cassie gets very depressed and looks off in the room because of the K and all this confusions. And about this whole thing that she did in the carnival. Um, Maddie comes out in the day that she got bruised. She put makeup on because she didn't want anyone to know. So the principal questioned her, told her why you got neck bruises in your neck. And she's like, oh, it's just nothing. And he's like, yo, we need to tell you like what's happening. So they bring a Nate and that's how the whole confusion is. And she just feels very upset about it. She doesn't want to talk about it. She doesn't want him to get in trouble. And yeah. Kat has a lot of confidence now, talking to the camp guy about her new style. And she gets all he me me of her. Nate talks about the bruise of the dad, so they question him and tell him, like, oh, look, 
like we could we protect you and he's like you know they're gonna press charges the, the parents are gonna press charges on him because they know that he touched him but you know they're gonna have that thing you know you know, know, know. Jules doesn't trust Rue because they're concerned of her. She does say that because she sees that Rue changed a lot. She thinks that she didn't change. She's still not clean and she finds it very weird. And gets concerned of her, with her. Rue then explains about her first kiss with the guy at 12 and she used to do hand jobs and stuff like that. And she also teaches Lexi how to French kiss. And she also lost her virginity at 15 to drugs at a bar. I think it was like a bar she lost drugs. But this was her dating life. But now she doesn't, she's not like sexually like this. Jules is sexually, but not hot that much. Rue has been in love before and is happy. She's been in love with Jules since then, and she's just happy to be with her. They get along together. Maddie's a lot of anger and upset. So in the scene, there is an upsetting scene where they go to get questioned, and they force her, and con not without, without consent. Like, without consent, just pushing her to see, to take pictures of her neck. Sorry, guys. I mean, the neck over here. She's crying, saying, no, no, no. So I mean, that was me in my situation. I'd be like, you have to ask for my permission. You're going to just barge me in and just stop taking pictures. But, you know, they won't prove. Nate's upset about the situation, but he still loves her. But the problem is he, he's just suspended, literally, and he's not allowed to go to school until they are allowed to see the situation done. So we can see that. Jules' dad, I talk about Rue saying how oh, she's a bad influence. Can you just try to make good for her? But you know, she, Jules likes her and stuff like that. Casey told Mackay about Nate's problems. You know, oh Nate is like, why would you be friends with him? She's like, oh yeah, I'm just friends with him because I'm friends with him. So she doesn't really disagree with that. Agree with that, I mean. Cats hook up with a guy and gets along with him. So she hooks up with this guy and do things. Whatever she is. That girl is problematic, I'm telling you. Maddie is upset. And not very doing well because she knows something's going to happen. She still lost Nate and she doesn't want anything to do. She feels very vulnerable. Very, 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 very vulnerable. And she needs a friend right now. So she calls her cat. But guess who? Cat is with some other guy because she wants to do something with the other guy. And he's like, oh, it's so good. And I'm like, girl, you can't fight. You can't. You are so busy doing whatever your friend and you can't even be there for your friend. Girl, what kind of friend are you? And she's very in the car. And I think... Nate does go to see her because he tracks her down because he's that she's like very upset and lonely. Real Jules and Lexi go together to skate together and have a little bond together, and that was very nice. I like that. Then Nate's dad talk about his boy's anger about his son. So he goes, you know how he has this little sexual little thing he has. So he talks to the guy. He's just, I think this guy's gay. I don't know what his name called. High lot. I don't know what it's called. But he's like, oh, I, I put a lot of anger in my boy, so I think that's why. And I'm like, Meg, you're releasing, you're realizing this now. You're realizing that you put anger in your boys. The anger's very, the anger's got, it's too late. It's too late. It's good that he's confessing and he knows. But the thing is that, it's just that he puts so much things on the boy, which just uh, annoys me. Then Jules seems apart from Rue, so that's what happened. In episode six, we got two more episodes, guys, and then we're going to finish. So this is McKay's life. So McKay's life was very interesting to see. I mean... They said that the dad was a coach and he pressured him to do football and he not to show emotion because if he cried, then, you know, he doesn't want him to be shy. So he wants him to, like, just man up a bit a bit. So he was very pressured in his life. He, his dad believed in routine for him. He didn't believe, like, oh, you just did to chill out. No, he's routine, 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 and routine, and routine. So he gives him a scholarship to go to college. They did something in college for him to do football. Cassie's teased with him, with Daniel. Because she feels very, very lonely and she needs some guys. So she goes out. She literally is hiding behind his back. I think it's just a carnival. He's, but she's been dating him ever since then and hiding behind the case back. So that kind of upset him with him for that. Then we see that Daniel is going to do a throw party, Halloween party. So Rue, Jules, Lexi, Fredugo. Rue dresses up as Juliet, as Romeo and Juliet. Is it Rue? Rue, yeah, Ru, no, Rue is Marty Dietrich and Jules is the one who plays Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. Kat is a nun, Lexi is Boss Ross, Maddie, I do not know, don't remember. So, Kat has a thing with Ethan, but he gets, like, he gets, he comes, like, like goes wet early because I think he's a virgin and she's, she's not, she's dating a guy and he's like, oh, you're not going to I don't date virgins, but then he did something to her and he got wet and then after that, she has sex with Daniel. Of course, the girl is a slut. I don't know kind of what I would say, but I don't know. Just, that's what I think. I think the girl changed a lot. 
Kat still likes to do these kind of things and Cassie gets a football shirt because of McKay. So in the scene, McKay's like, I don't want to show too much skin to put on a shirt. So he push on, she puts on a shirt and she feels a bit like unconcerned about the whole situation. Jules starts to drink more and Rue is concerned for her. She knows that it's not working for her at all. Like why is she drinking? And she, Lexi sees this as well. Lexi as Bus Ross. We do explain later why she Bus Ross. It's so funny. But anyways... Nate expelled, but he won't go out to dinner, but he will spy on Jules and Maddie. He will take, literally, pictures of Jules. And he will meet her every night, Maddie, but he still takes Jules. Like, girl, choose who you're going to be with. Stop doing this nonsense little confusions. He don't text Jules, but he likes, he just likes taking pictures of her. I don't know if he must have based on it. I don't know. I'm not even, even going to imagine that. Uh, Rue gets high and protects you from being high. So Gia is doing something there and she doesn't want to see it so she's like oh what are you doing i'm like i'm not doing anything so she gets upset and try to take her out of there rue apologizes first about her getting angry and he's like oh it's okay i think because he got very angry with her cassie's relationship is very insane and mckay gets weird and put an anger on her so in the scene it's very weird so they on the day that she was with him dating and they were having sex the guy came in and started saying gay 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 and that was kind of like whoa and then after that, he went to the bathroom crying because he didn't want to show emotion. He came back. He put the anger on her by having sex with her. I mean, I mean, like, you don't put an anger on a person to have sex. You just talk to them. You don't have to do that. I feel like that was just so weird. And she felt a bit like, are we still doing it? He's like, yeah, come on. So did it, and that's what happened. Jules falls on the poo and they kiss um, Rue. Rue's upset about this. She's like, what's going on? And then McKay and Cassie fight. They have a bit of argument. So that's not going very well. Nate threatens Jules with pictures of Jules. So she's frightening them with the, the jewels. Oh, I'm going to frighten you with the picture, so be careful and stuff like that. Leslie saves Cassie and Lighter McKay. So in the scene, we do see that, that Daniel and her are dating, but he does tell her she's a slut, a whore, saying, her, oh, you're boring. Why are you doing this to me? Like, she basically, she's going to ask some other guy. He's like, just choose, you choose who you want to be with and stuff like that. So he's upset with her. So he moves on. And she, of course, Lexi saves her. And McKay says, like, goes home. She, says, she tells him that only she, she, was, she went home. It starts to get weird after that. Daniel shades Cassie. Yeah, I said that. Nate talks to Tyler and gives him options. So this is the option I'm talking about. So he goes up to Tyler and Tyler's scared with his little thing on. He's like, you can go to the police and say that you did it. Or, or we'll just have my take the pictures and we'll just show that it was her. But the option that he did was go to the police and say that. So yeah, he's in the police. And I just feel sorry for that. So of course, they press a the charge. They're like, oh, Nate, Nate's fine. They can come back. So we do see Nate and they'll come back in time. Nate is manipulative and Jewel talks about the train of Nate and that's what happened. And that's why I tell you that guy, that guy is a manipulative little sicky guy. Episode 7 is Cassie's life. So this is Cassie's life. Cassie's life was very normal. She was very good. She didn't have any problems. She was very, her, said her dad was handsome. He gave her what she wanted. She wanted to be a skater and he encouraged her to be good. Her mum and her were very best friends. They should get along. And I say minister by uncles because when they hugged, they hugged in a way like this. I feel like that was a bit weird. Um, she does have, I think the mom had some issues with drinking and the dad had some income to pay. So there was a lot of problem doing that. So that was life of between them two. Um, dad cheated on mom because in, in the school, the girls are like, oh, you're actually cheating on my mom. So they did have a lot of big fights that night and he left because of that. One night he was walking drunk, driving and he got hit by the car. He went to hospital and all the family were all worried. So they all came to look after him. And everything like that. After they gone better and done the little exercise thing, he just he stopped visiting them because he used to visit them on weekends, but not anymore. So now he and now Cassie lives with mom and Lexi. She started dating other guys and they would like to do sexual things and she wouldn't like it, but they would film it because they want to. And she would just date other guys whenever she wants to. McKay then falls in love with her and and he loves start to like her. Rue is, of course, depressed. She is not listening to Love Island as depressed, but she does have something going on with her. Lexi is angry at Cassie because they're like, oh, you're always perfect. Like, oh, like she's basically telling that Cassie to stop talking about yourself. You always talk about yourself. Shut up, basically. So Lexi and Rue talk about the situation of Nate. That was very funny. It was like a little police situation. They were like, how come Tyler got caught in and what was wrong with Nate? So they like, don't trust Nate. And they start to do the problem thing. And I remember that she goes to Fez and tells him, oh, can you, like, get a gun so we can go kill him? And that was so funny. I was like, okay, girl. And I think she could be a bipolar because she does explain that she wants to kill Fez, so I see that in a way. Then Kyle told her to make mistakes about what happened and my girl who buy who boo. 
Rue is depressed of her bladder and it's affecting her. So that's what I'm trying to say to you guys that she's depressed. She, her bladder's going. She, when she wants to pee, she can't pee. So she's in pain. And when I saw this, it was very heartbreaking to see because I know that she's in pain and she's just trying her best. Rue mom get a boyfriend called Rick and he's like that kind of guy who likes adventurous. He meets Rue, but they have an awkward encounter and she's like, I think she says it in a rude way, but she's like, oh no, I'll just say it in a nice way. She apologised and yeah, that's it. Um, she goes to first, like I said, to, to threaten him with a gun. And that was funny. She gets medication. So when we're in that scene, the guy comes again and she's like, just stay in the room. And she stays in the room, but there's medication. And the problem with her, she's trying to get clean, but the medication was talking to her. So that was a bit weird. Um, in this scene, I think he does threaten um, Nate about it and stuff like that. But, you know, Nate is manipulative. So Jules go meet this old friend called TC. And she goes to the town and she talks about her about Rue, and she's confused, and she's like, oh, I'm not, don't know, this relationship's okay, he's not there, there. I'm like, girl. That's why I start hating this girl, seriously. She go meet this friend, Anna, and I talk about Rue, and I talk about something about femininity, something like that, I do not remember that properly, but she does talk about things like that, and I see that the girl is just annoying me, the hell out of me. So then we see that they all get together, they go to the party, get dry, and I should just kiss Anna. And I was like, girl, what? You have a girlfriend. Why are you kissing Anna? What's wrong with you? Cassie then tells McKay is pregnant, and McKay reacts in the wrong way. He says that, oh, why did you do this when I'm... Oh, he basically thinks about himself, basically, because, like, he's like, oh, why are you telling me this now? Oh, guys, did I mention anything? Yeah, so she tells her, oh, why are you with this guy? And da, da, da. Why did you tell her to react in the wrong way? I don't know if I mentioned this, but in the other scene, um, the girls talk about the relationship between um, Daniel. And I don't know if I said this scene, but I remember it was one of these episodes. But it is saying, and she's like, oh, why? I think, what's her name? Maddie? No, Maddie. Kat. Kat get angry and starts saying about Daniel and stuff like that. Why did you just tell him and stuff like that? So she was undecided. But yeah, moving on. Um, Cassie tells she, she he says, oh, and she's, he's like, do you want a baby? I said, yeah, I want a baby one day. But of course, she has to go through the abortion process and she doesn't want to, but you know. Um, Kat gets weird, has a weird encounter on camera. He basically told her to undress herself and she closed it off. I mean, if that was me, I would never do someone to tell me to do that because that's not comfortable for me. I mean, that's for you. But then she got uncomfortable and she stopped it. Rue confronts Nate and threatens him not to do anything about it. Like, please do not do anything. Like, don't be stupid. So she's trying to confront him in a way. And I think it's Rue or Jules, but any... Rue... No, sorry. Rue or Fez. Jules get high and kiss Anna, like I mentioned before. Nate gets angry, so he put Fez in trouble. Because this is when Fez questioned him saying about this kind of stuff. And he's like, oh, well, I'll do anything better. So then Rue better gets very wrong and she goes to hospital. All right, episode eight. So this is episode eight. Rue has kidney infection and she doesn't know what to do about it, so she goes and tell her mom to help her and she goes to have to get cursed for her. She really enjoys this this, this um hospital, she likes it. She will tell the drugs the woman that can you put drugs in me because I like it. She comes out, but they're still unsure about it. Jules was at her but tells her she loves her, but that's barely it. She don't tell her about the the Anna business and stuff like that. She changed her style and does makeup and she's done a different person. They do have a vision of killing Nate, that was really funny and that made me laugh. So then we see a scene, it's a flashback, not a flashback, but like a little thing going to the monologue. So the mum does a speech about her and praise her. And then Rue meets Drew's dad and they, they stay talking, chatting wherever they go out. And that was very nice to see. Maddie finds Nate that is not, Maddie, okay, so in this relationship, Maddie breaks up with him. And the reason why she breaks up with, with him is because he's not hard enough. So he's not, when I say hard enough, he's not um, given... I don't want to say an explicit, I don't want to go through details, guys, because I think you know what I mean. He's not hard enough for her. And this is, this is a very weird way, sexual way, okay? Not not hard, but hard, hard. So he can't come like that randomly. And she's like, what's going on? He's like, oh, because of this, because of that, because of this, because of that. So... He does focus and then they break up and I think the dad starts trying to protect him and then they break up. They go another way or else they're gonna go. In this prom, we do see the girls coming through and they see Nate with some new girl with the butt showing out. Like, girl, what is the butt girl showing out? When I saw it, I was like, huh? Anywho, so she gets upset. 
she tries to do what she wants to do. She gets Travis and starts to, to like, mind up, pop him. Gay girl. Hey, Kaye. Um, Maddie gets some jealous and goes to some other guy. The girls believe that Nate and Maddie, and I think there was a scene where they go together, and they think, they think oh, I think Nate and Maddie are going to get together, I might break up or whatever, and come back again. So that's what they're going to think is going to happen. George texts Anna in the bathroom, but it's just not to rude because we can see that she's talking to Anna. Why are you talking to Anna? Talk to your girlfriend. Be honest with her. And she tells her, do you kiss? She says, yeah, I can kiss. Because, like I said, Jules is a very social person, but she isn't. So she was like, what's going on? Just fine. Um, first breaks someone's house to steal the money that the mouse still to give to the Dems. That's what he wants to do. <laughs> so then... Um, yeah, so then they go getting the stuff. They they go to the house, giving them money and stuff like that. And then after that, um, sorry about that, sorry about that, guys. The confusions. So after that, they give the money to, to Miles, but it's specific for him to do. Rude dance with Rude, Rude dance with Jules. It was funny, and then he showed up in a moving like this to Nate. It was very funny, and I really like that scene. Um, he does give the money to Miles. Um, and then they expect, and then Cat. Explain to Ethan, I'm so sorry about all this. I won't go shut up. Even though they're still not nice to each other, I do not trust that girl. So then they kiss and they get together. Um, Lexi shouts. Cassie goes to hospital and does a abortion process. So she, she, she thinks about the ice skating dream. So this explains about what's going to happen. Rude then confessed to Nay about Jules and Thursday. Why you stop doing it? And then he's trying to mess with her mind and stuff like that. So he's like, oh, well, that's fine. I could just do something very hard, very, very difficult for you. So then he doesn't trust him. The full pitch is shown when he does win the game, but he's not focused. Her dad talks to him, and this is a bad breakdown. This is what I think Nate should win the award because what he does was very uncomfortable to watch, but it was very good. So they have he has a bad breakdown, start banging his head, and the dad is even alone. What? Not even confident in him, not doing anything with him, but just like standing there and just don't do nothing. Like what? So this is what happened. Um, so. Um, so they go get there, and then after that, she, after that he has a breakdown, he, Maddie sees a tape, she, she gets the tape when she left, when she, when she first saw the dick pics on the thing, she then got the, the CD and bring it, so he doesn't even know what happened. Um, and then now he's worried because he's looking for the CD and he doesn't know where the CD is, so he's mad and upset. So he has a very bad breakdown, and a, this is horrible. Rue hates town and she wants to run away with Jules and she's like, okay, let's do it. And Jules like, do you love me? I said, yeah, I love you. Rue just run away, but Rue has bad thoughts. She doesn't know what to do. When they go there, um, she's packing up the things. Rue's like, she's just, Rue's like, I don't know what to do. Then guys, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? So she don't go and Jules left. Jules basically left Rue. So this was kind of heartbreaking and she couldn't do it. The flashback gave him and the mum and the fighting and the dad's death, so explained about the whole thing. And then Rude does more drugs and ends with a song. And then that's it, guys! <laughs> Once 47 minutes. So, okay, guys, this is my final thoughts of this movie. I really enjoyed it a lot. It was very fun. I liked it. Uh, I mean, TV show. I do not like Nate. And my life for me is because I think he's toxic. I think the way he is is because he's messed up and the dad is messed up. I feel like... We're going to know more about season two, dad's life. Why is he like this? Why is he even like this? He is toxic with people. He's violent. He shouldn't be near people. He should just have therapy. That's what I think he should have. And I just feel like, you know, him and his dad is a complete different person. I really like Rue. I know that Rue struggled a lot in this. And I think that she kind of like is stepping away and she's not undecided what she wants to do. Cassie's good in this one. I couldn't see why she's dating other guys and stuff like that. But I do see that. And I get that, what she means. Um, I really like Maddie, and I even though she's that's that best thing. But Fez was very good. I like Fez. He's very nice. We can see Ashtray. Um, Lexi's a very good character. Very interesting character. Season two, we're going to see more about her. Who am I going to talk about? Um, Jules is a very interesting character. I'm not sure, but I don't trust her that well because she's talking to people and she's doing stuff, which I don't like. So I don't really trust her that much. Kyle is messed up. By missing anyone else. Yeah, I like G and the mom. They're nice. But apart from that, good, good, good story. But yeah. Okay, guys. Hope you liked this video. Comment down below what you think. It is 49 minutes left. 49 minutes on my video. I know I spent a lot of things. I'm going to be doing season two. And I'm thinking season two, we're going to get a bit more information about what Nate is and what Cow is. We might see that. We, maybe we might have 
through. Maybe she might get clean, we might not know. And we might see what happens with Jules. But yeah. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Comment down what you think. My Instagram, my Snapchat down below. And yeah. Okay guys. Bye.